up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold penny i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2024 toyota prius courtesy of younger toyota in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below it is in the 20s today freakishly cold just defrosted this thing i love the design to it though still even with all the ice on it also you get 50 plus mpgs which is dang impressive as well so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing so as you can imagine there are a few different trim levels for the 2024 prius first one being the le starting at twenty seven thousand six hundred fifty dollars which by the way is a modest two hundred dollar bump from the 2023 model year so typically i'm used to seeing a heck of a lot more than that so that's not that bad xle starting at thirty one thousand ninety five dollars and the limited being the one we were in today starting at thirty four thousand six sixty five that was all pricing for the front wheel drive if you wanted to add all wheel drive you can do that simply add fourteen hundred dollars than to any of those prices but regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant on the prius is going to be the same powering the little beast is a two liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder with a lithium ion battery putting out a combined 196 horsepower for the all-wheel drive 194 horsepower then for the front wheel drive 152 pound feet of torque again power sent to the front wheels or all wheels through a cvt zero to 60 time actually an impressive 7.1 seconds it did not used to be that way so you gotta love that top speed if you're interested 115 miles per hour with mpg numbers differing pretty substantially dependent upon the configuration and the trim level that you go with so for the front wheel drive le you're going to get 57 in the city 56 on the highway for the front wheel drive xle and limited you're going to get 52 52 for the all-wheel drive le 53 in the city 54 in the highway and lastly for the all-wheel drive xle and limited being the one we were in today that one's going to give you 49 in the city 50 on the highway all of those though taking regular unleaded fuel to save you a little bit of money there so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our prius i did want to mention to you guys the drive modes there's a little toggle switch located directly behind the shifter those drive modes will include custom sport normal eco and ev mode of course adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity so now that i've got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put this acceleration here to the test and Let's see how quickly we can get our new 2024 Toyota Prius here up to speed. All right, you guys, in three, two, one, go. Instant, whoa. <laughs> that instant punch is pretty sweet. Wow, 60, there is nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Let me tell you guys, like the Prius didn't used to be this way. I absolutely love it. I remember view, reviewing it last year and this is a heck of an acceleration for what you think the Prius is really going to be because you think it's going to be slow and it's just going to be a fuel efficient, really, really slow car, but it's not. It's a fuel efficient, really, really kind of quick car, believe it or not. Like 0 to 60 and 7.1, there's nothing wrong with that. You're not going to have any issues in merging onto the highway. And again, because it's a hybrid, because it's got that battery power as well, it's instant acceleration much more so than a naturally aspirated engine and a heck of a lot better than any turbocharged engine could ever pull off on the initial get-go though so that is pretty darn cool i actually love that acceleration for the prius but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always you guys know braking is equally important so up front for the front wheel drive you're going to find 11.1 .1 inch ventilated front discs up front for the all-wheel drive you're going to find 12 inch ventilated front discs and then 11 inch solid rear discs as far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes comes in at 123 feet and since no one's behind us here it's brilliant. I love the braking feel on the Prius. Definitely on the firmer side of things, it does instantly bring you to a stop. I gotta put down the sun visor. It's just too bright, but yeah, there is 100% nothing wrong with that braking feel. It's it's like a sports car braking feel, quite honestly. I absolutely love it. This thing's really impressing me. Touching on suspension and handle, like up front, you're gonna get a McPherson strut front suspension, in the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, of course, front and rear stabilizer bars. As far as ride quality goes, there's some smooth roads here in Hagerstown, I will say that. So in my short little test drive here today, it's been 100% on point, absolutely no issues there. And since I'm still in sport driving mode, the steering feel is brilliant. As far as steering feel goes, I love it. 
this car is just fun, man. Like, it's so much better of a steering feel than the Camry, than the Corolla. Heck, I would see, even say it's probably better than the Civic as well. This is a very heavy feel to the steering, instantly pointing you in the direction that you want to go. Not as good as Tesla, of course, but it's dang good on that steering feel. So this is definitely a car you could actually have some fun with on the back roads, I'm telling you. I love it. As far as cabin noise goes, it hasn't been that bad in my little test drive here today. You do tend to hear a little bit more of the road noise and a little bit more of the engine noise, but it's nothing that would bother me. It's perfectly fine in my short test drive, so I absolutely no issues there. Touching on visibility, the ice is still back there a little bit, but other than that, rear visibility is perfectly fine. Now, it's not going to be as good as a Corolla or a Camry or anything like that, but it's one of those things you kind of get used to. So it's not that bad, but it's not going to be as good as some of the competition. I'll just put it that way. Now, touching on forward visibility, I've seen and read a couple other reviews on the forward visibility about how when you adjust the steering wheel up and down, it doesn't account for the gauges and the gauges don't adjust with it. So there is a little bit of uh, the steering wheel, the top part of the steering wheel kind of blocking the gauges. I can still see my speed though. I'll say that because the steering wheel is low enough that I can still see my speed. And I kind of do like that the gauge cluster does sit up a little bit higher there because it actually helps you keep your eyes better on the road because you don't have to look down as much, whereas you typically do in traditional gauges. So I actually don't mind that for as far as forward visibility goes. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 for Toyota Prius. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2024 Toyota Prius finished in supersonic red, in case you were curious of our exact exterior color name that we had on this one. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where the Prius is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the letter J, indicating that the new 2024 Prius is still built and assembled in Japan, as it should be, in my opinion. But let's go ahead and start up front on the Prius here. Active grill shutters actually do come standard, meaning grill shutters are going to open and close dependent upon the engine cooling that is needed at any given time. By LED headlights do come standard for every single trim level across the board. They are projector style, so added illumination at night there. They do come standard with LED daytime running lights. That's going to be that C-shaped lighting that you guys see there. Definitely a nice look to it. You do get the automatic feature, of course, as well with those headlights, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, the headlights will turn on automatically for you there. And automatic high beams also coming standard. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses the vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams. And when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there. So definitely a very convenient feature there as well. But I love the front end. I'm so glad they redesigned the Prius. This doesn't even look like a Prius anymore. This thing looks amazing. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the front end. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, and so but now since we are around to the side of this one, gloss black window surrounds do come standard. Taking a look at the side mirrors, they are gloss black power adjustable side mirrors for all trim levels. They will also be heated for all trim levels then as well. Then take a look down at the wheel setup, 17 inch alloys with covers for the LE, but then 19 inch alloys for both the XLE and the limited trim. That of course is what you guys are looking at right here. I do like the all wheel drive badging found on the front doors. That of course is if your Prius is equipped with all wheel drive. I do like the low front hood line as well. That definitely looks good. I probably should have said that when we were at the front portion of this review, but Overall, nice side profile, very aerodynamic. And in case you guys didn't notice, as far as the rear door handles go, I'm just gonna get up a little bit closer here. There's actually a rubberized button within there. That is how you're gonna go ahead and open that up. It's not actually on the door itself, like on the front door. So a little differentiation there. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, and so now since we are around to the back of this one, another very good look on the Prius. All the way to the top, gloss black shark fin antenna. Just below that, you're going to find some Prius lettering spelled out horizontally, finishing kind of like a, a gunmetal type of color there. LED tail lights, really an LED light bar does come standard across the board. You're also going to find some trim level badging back there, except ours is going to say LTD, uh, which of course stands for limited trim. Um, one of the coolest things about the back end here, I'm going to show this to you guys. I'm going to take off the plate here for a second. I'll get some B-roll here. It's behind the license plate. It does say since 1997, so it is completely hidden. Nobody in the world is going to know it's there except for you because you're watching this video. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you don't 
don't mind and like the video. But anyways, just below it all, you will find a single exhaust outlet. It is tucked away kind of underneath on the passenger side there. You guys can see that on this super cold day here. So having said that, we'll give this a shot. Keep in mind, this is a hybrid. I'm not sure this is gonna work, but as always here is that exhaust clip. And so I guess now is as good of a time as any to mention my miles per gallon in my short little test drive here today. Now I only went uh, 14 miles in my total drive here, but I did manage approximately 64 miles per gallon. So that is pretty darn impressive. So that goes to show you, I did this with my Civic back in the day. I actually ended up getting an average of 10 more miles per gallon than it advertised. And that's kind of the same with the Prius here. It advertises around 50 miles per gallon with the all wheel drive limited here. And we ended up getting 64 so it depends on how you drive i kept it in eco minus the acceleration test of course and i ended up getting 64 so it depends on your drive it depends on how you drive it's definitely possible you can get more than those numbers that are originally advertised but anyways since we are around to the back of this one now when it comes to opening that rear hatch there there is a button on the key fob there is also a button on the hatch itself but it's actually a power hatch here on our limited term so that's pretty cool but anyways once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 23.8 cubic feet for that le trim but then 20.3 cubic feet for the xle and limited trim so a little bit less there there is a 60 40 split meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it led cargo lighting found back there you don't always find that there's some chrome plated tie down anchors and if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor you will find a tire inflator kit underneath of the cargo floor but you do also get a little bit of in-floor storage actually as well which is pretty cool to see but then making our way up to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 34.8 inches for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had in the back seats there rear center armrest with cup holders is going to come standard on our limited i remember not seeing that on the le trim level last year no rear ventilation though unfortunately for any of the trim levels would have loved to have seen that although this isn't the biggest car so you might not need it but dual rear usb charging ports do come standard here on our limited trim level at least i actually found heated rear seat buttons back there as well to spoil the rear passenger so that was pretty cool too but anyways then make our way up to the front seats manually adjustable cloth seating does come standard soft text upholstery for the xle and limited trims eight weight power adjustable front seats with power lumbar for the xle and limited heated and ventilated front seats for the limited trim i love these heated seats today because it is freezing outside 28 degrees it says right now that's nuts anyway seat comfort was perfectly fine on my short little test drive here today so definitely didn't have any issues there although i do wish the headrests were a little bit softer because this will throw your head into the back of the headrest when you hit the gas originally it's pretty quick but then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is going to come with a soft text finish and it will be heated for the XLE and limited trims. Also had that on today, very nice. But then make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key. You got your Prius lettering on the one side of the key. Then when you flip it over, lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear hatch there. But it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of the center air vents there. And so once started up, you're gonna be looking at a seven inch LCD gauge cluster, and it's pretty cool. It's got some steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel, so you can adjust the different things up there if you wanted to. There's actually a ton of stuff. There's safety features, audio information, there's a compass up there, fuel economy, I could go on and on, like everything you could possibly need, outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty, so definitely a good bit. And uh, you can actually slide that center screen, the, the digital speedometer, to the right and then to the middle as well so there's a lot of customization with the digital gauges and that's typically how it works you also check out your driving modes up there as well so definitely didn't mind them but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality you're going to find a fixed glass roof for the limited trim letting in so much more light for this video so i am appreciative optional on the xle by the way Automatic climate control does come standard for all trim levels. So you just set that temperature, it's gonna automatically hit it for you. Auto dimming rear view mirror with homelink controls for the XLE and limited trims. That's for up to three different garage doors found on uh, the bottom portion of that rear view mirror there. Speaking of rear view mirror, let me not forget to mention this. When you flip it, 
it actually turns into a rear camera mirror. That is absolutely nuts. That's for the limited trim level, of course, but that is stinking cool. So I absolutely love that. Wireless phone charger for the XLE and limited trims. But one of my favorite parts about the interior is the hidden compartment located just in front of the cup holders. You would think it's not there because just in front of the cup holders, you do have a little bit of storage there. But if you press in on that little arrow there and lift up, there is a hidden compartment underneath of that. So that is stinking cool. And it does say hashtag hidden compartment. Hence the reason I knew it was a hidden compartment. But also you do have this nice cool blue ambient lighting that is found just kind of underneath of the climate control vents there. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I would have loved to have seen it multicolor, but it's ambient lighting nonetheless. So I'm not gonna complain. I think that's pretty nice. Just in front of the shifter, like I said, you got a little bit of storage there, 12 volt power outlet, a couple USB charging ports. Um, just behind the shifter there, you have your wireless phone charger and within the center armrest, not a ton of space, but it's a decent amount. It'll get the job done. You do have a couple more USB charging ports in there as well. So overall, the interior quality actually definitely gets the job done. So no issues for me. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the massive infotainment screen here. And it's not always massive because eight inch color touchscreen display is going to come on the LE and XLE, but then a 12.3 inch color touchscreen display for our limited limited trim level. So Bluetooth and audio streaming either way. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which by the way is wireless. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay does come standard. I love that. You can check out your driving statistics up there. There's radio information. And so when it comes to the sound systems, you're gonna find six speakers for the LE and XLE trims, but then an eight speaker JBL sound system for our limited that we have today. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio. Let's see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. That's a plenty fine sound system. Eight speakers in the size of this vehicle. Nothing wrong. Ton of bass with that sound system, by the way. So, yeah, I got no complaints there. But last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Prius in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. And there is a panoramic view monitor that is going to be optional found on the left there, which we do have, by the way, which is always it's going to lead us into safety. And so first, let me start by saying IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which is the very highest designation given by IIHS. So that pretty much says it all right there. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard. Rear side impact airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard. Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 that gives you a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection. Dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert with steering assist, lane tracing assist, road sign assist, proactive driving assist, blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert and safe exit assist as well. And then the XLE and Limited is gonna add to that front and rear parking sensors. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the Prius, this thing is plenty quick, especially on the get-go. That instant acceleration, thanks to it being a hybrid, is absolutely amazing. I love the steering feel. I love the braking. The braking feel really bites as well. So really, I'm just gonna sum it up and say, believe it or not, the Prius has great driving dynamics. So I'm just gonna put that out there. Brilliant design as well. I love the new look to the Prius. I think it looks a heck of a lot better than it used to. The design is amazing. Excellent MPGs as well. For me to get over 60 miles per gallon, that's just absolutely insane. You can't really beat that these days unless you go full electric. As far as room for improvement goes, there's a couple things I can think of. I personally would want a spare tire on this thing as opposed to the fix the flat. So that's just me personally. I'm used to that and I think it's easier. Uh, no rear ventilation as well. Would have loved to have seen that. Not that it should be an issue in a small vehicle like this, but if you got kids in the back, you want them to stay comfortable at all times, that probably would help a little bit. But that's really all I got for the room for improvement. Let me know what you guys think of the new Prius in the comments section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're new new car reviews, because that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.